morning everyone welcome to the channel we are at it again camping with the Abercrombies I'm Aaron uh, I am here at a uh, mommy Bay campground We're right here on the water we got here yesterday and uh, because I didn't uh, get a nap in I sort of got here and you know set everything up and went to bed and I got up too late to do a video but anyway but uh, here it is Saturday morning uh, I have just got finished making my breakfast before I go out. It looks like we might have rain today. And uh, I will go out and uh, show you guys what I can see from the park. Maybe try my hand at my uh, drone footage again if the wind isn't blowing too, too much. And uh, I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Thanks for watching. See you in a bit. Bye. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. I've got my breakfast out of the way. And I have pet up pedaled out here to the beginning or the entrance of the park campground i am here at mommy state park campground you can see that mommy state park campground and it is at the corner of norden and cedar point well this is where the entrance are that we're at um i'm right here near the main highway i figured i'd start at the entrance and work my way back uh my sister corinne is down at the other end um, we were at the camp store buying t-shirts and magnets and to get one for get a t-shirt for the missus since she didn't make it she had to work this weekend but we knew when I booked almost every weekend this summer that she wouldn't get to come to some of them so I have to get her a t-shirt uh, right now I'm getting ready to start pedaling back to where my sister is Vic and Corinne the Real Weekend Warriors they got here last night. I got here a little bit earlier than them. I came in, got me something to eat, and went to bed, so I missed them when they arrived. They're right next to me, though. All right, I'm going to turn this around and try to ride back and uh, show you guys what I see. Be back in a second. Okay, here we go. Well, I'm going to wait till this car goes by so I don't get run over. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is uh, one of the entrances to the park. Uh, this is, I don't think this is the main, well, I guess it could be the main entrance depending on where you're coming from. Okay, let's get this party started. Uh, we have not had a chance to drive around the park or, uh, you know, I haven't had a chance to do any drone footage because it's been too windy. But um, we will try and get some footage of the park on our way back and uh, show you what's going on up here. So far, it's pretty nice. We're right near the water. We're not on the water, but we're near the water. Here we go. We are heading towards the park store. They have a beach, of course, administrative office, and all of that will be to your right, but we are going to the left. That's if Corinne has not given up on pedaling and went back already. I'm trying to get her to where she'll ride a little bit further. So they're gonna just wait till I go and try to run me over, I guess. Okay. But uh, I'm trying to get her to ride further. She's a little bit nervous about going too far. I don't know why. But the only way you'll get better is if you do it more. But uh, <clears throat> first off, they, uh, they rent bicycles up here they have firewood for five dollars it's kind of you know it almost looks like kindling to me i wouldn't call it firewood but here's your entrance and your registration uh one of the negatives about this park which really isn't a negative is they only have one entrance so if you're you know go to the store and you're coming back you know you still have to wait in line with all of the people that are checking in which is kind of you know, kind of silly. They only have one lane going in. So you have people returning from the grocery store or whatever, stuck in line behind people that are camping, checking in. And look, there is Corinne with the Real Weekend Warriors. And that looks like Vic heading out. Where's he going? Is he, where's he going? Did you tell him about the wood? No, I just got him coming in. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mosey on over here and show you this wood real quick, hopefully. They said you can come inspect it to see if you wanted to buy it. But some of these bundles, you know, sometimes when I get my wood, I will split it myself to make the pieces smaller. 
but some of these pieces are just really thin like they're the you know the leftovers from cutting the wood see how little those pieces are see how thin they are but when you come back here they actually have bundles of wood see that's more of what i would pay for than the scrap pieces that look like they would be used as kindling but anyway they have uh, little trailers you can put on your bike to pull the kids they have tandem bikes they have beach look like beach cruiser bikes all of that that's the campground store we've already uh got our t-shirts i hadn't anticipated it and i didn't have anything to carry it so i had to stuff our t-shirts into my bottle holder but whatever works works all right i'm gonna go over here and check with sis and see if she is ready to finish this ride but I will come over, give her a chance to say hi to all of my viewers. Say hi, sister. <laughs> hi. And you are, as if Karen we don't. with the Real Weekend Warriors. Oh, it just sounds corny when Vic's not in there with you. <laughs> Vic went to the store. He, he said he, he wanted some grapes and I didn't pack him in. So, <laughs> he went to get grapes. <laughs> all right. We will be continuing our ride in a minute, and thanks for riding along with me. Bye. Okay, we just left the park entrance, and we are continuing our ride. And on the way in, I'm going to ride you guys past a dump station. They have dumpsters here at the dump station. And what's cool is these dump stations already have the hoses here for you. So you don't have to... Hi, how you doing? So you don't have to unload your hoses. They have air. Two more dumpsters so you don't have to unload your hoses when you go to the dump station now i've stated in a I think a couple times maybe that i don't i know it sounds gross but i don't use gloves because i have a routine down that i use every time make sure i don't touch anything i shouldn't be touching but i do however clean my hands with clorox wipes when i'm done but with those how you doing with those not being my hoses i will be putting gloves on I'm catching up to her. I don't know why she's stopping. She's probably tired. Hey. I'm going down to check out these sites. And I'll be back out. I'm getting my exercise in as well. And showing y'all as much as I can of this park. This, that's where I am in the next section. And uh, the sites are nice because they're separated by walls of trees bushes as you can see but behind the sites there's walkthrough paths so if you want it if somebody's next to you you can just walk through the little path and you are at your neighbor's campsite so yeah these sites are pretty level uh, I didn't have any trouble leveling they have great water dumps along the way they have fresh I think I think it's potable water at uh, the dump station at check-in. There is a water spot over by where we're at. I'm not sure if it's potable water or not, but either way I won't be drinking it. I don't think there are any full hookups. I don't even think they have water. I think all of these are uh, just electric. As you can see they have paths that lead through. All of these spots are electric. You know, so you can fill up at the dump station on your way in or fill up at home before you head out. Uh, we're at a 50 amp uh, site. This is the end of the cul-de-sac. And uh, I'm not going to do this for every section because they're all the same. But uh, what I will do is ride out with you guys until uh, I get back to my site show you how my setup is which is nothing spectacular it's just like I said I'm on the end and uh, this is a nice quiet spot but like I said you can see there's trees in between so you got a little bit of privacy when you're here now the section that we're in uh, Corinne can see the water behind her I can see a little corner of it hey how you doing I can see a little corner of it but not a whole lot, but yeah, see that's gray water only. You can dump there. And uh, I am in the next section over. There's 54. I'm in 55 at the next section. 
Jesus. Trying to get my video for my channel. <laughs> Those people were inquiring about the seat that I have on my bicycle here. It's called a next ride seat. It's a, a noseless seat. So there's no nose to uh, support your weight, you know, where your man parts are that will cut off the blood flow to them. So the seat is very comfortable. And here, I'm gonna pull in right here. Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good. And here I am in 50, 55. I'm gonna hop off here and uh, I'll step back. I didn't want to cut that gentleman off as I was pulling in. But uh, here's my spot here. As you can see, the main road is there. I'm right near the main road. The trees sort of blocked the sound. It was nice and quiet the other night. Um, here is the other side of my spot. So I have, I've got quite a bit of room. Uh, once again, I've pointed out that uh, when I'm camping, it'd be a good idea. If you are going away from your camper, put in your awning. Because here near the water, the weather keeps changing. It'll start blowing real hard, then it'll stop. And it's best to just put your awning in when you're away from your trailer. Also another uh, tip, turn your water pump off when you're away from your trailer. Because if something springs a leak, that pump's gonna just keep pumping water on the inside of your trailer. Just something to think about. This is the walkway that leads over to the Real Weekend Warriors. And as I said, this, this is really cool. I like this. And there is their trailer and Victor's bike. I don't know if you can see it way over there. I'll see if I can zoom. See, they have water sort of behind theirs. But uh, Oh, I didn't know you came back. She's inside. But anyway, and this is their campsite. And as you can see, that trail will lead over to, uh, you know, the next pe person's campground. But I'm not going to, I'm not here to film their site. She can do that for her own channel. She's the YouTube superstar. I'm just starting out. But anyway, <laughs> I walk around this way to my campsite. And, uh, of course, got to put our sign out. That my wife got us to represent the Abercrombies. Yay. All right, everybody. Uh, I will see you guys on the next clip if I find something interesting to show you. Thanks for watching. Bye.